Thanks to Gears of War, the third-person shooter genre took off at full speed last generation. While many attempted to cash in on Epic's hit, few stood out. Binary Domain is one of the few which managed to do so. <laughs> That's... Dan Marshall has been sent to Japan to join the international covert operation known as Russ Crew. Operatives from Britain, France, China, and America have been tasked with arresting one Mr. Amada for his accused breach of the New Geneva Convention. Japan has embraced a policy of isolation and self-sufficiency. The game does a great job of touching upon subjects like poverty, inequality, and the price of advancement. Most of these themes dwindle out before the end of the game. Still, even though the broader subject gets neglected, the story remains strong because of the platoon you inhabit. If anything, you'll be left thinking about the events of the world after playing. The story, though typical of the genre's cliches, manages to stand out because of the methods in which it is delivered. Cutscenes are frequent and get quite lengthy in the last quarter of the game. Though these are superbly entertaining, it's the dialogue that unfolds via the action which is the main selling point. Using the mic, you may shout orders to your teammates in the heat of battle. You can also respond to their questions inside or outside of combat. It's a great way to build the characters into more than the stereotypes they would otherwise embody. It also increases or decreases their trust of Dan, reacting to how they will back you up in combat. Though I was unable to get my mic to work in the PC version shown here, I have played through the console version using voice commands. There are also a handful of quiet scenes where you are free to wander a safe area talking to teammates and locales alike. It's a shame this exploration system wasn't pushed harder, as the universe created is so fascinating. This place has something our modern robot-filled world could never have. Maybe noisy and grimy, but I find it strangely comforting. Past the interaction and story, Binary Domain plays similarly to other third-person cover-based shooters. The action button snaps you into cover. From here you can blind fire or aim. Dan has a melee attack, which will take down weaker enemies in one or two hits. Though some bosses can be a bit too fast for Dan's agility, tossing him about the arena like a ragdoll, the action is mostly satisfying and fair. Teamwork is crucial. You need to rely on your teammates for ammo refills, medical attention, and support when pinned down. Curiously, Binary Domain has no co-op for the single-player campaign. The AI is mostly competent, but bringing a friend along would have helped Binary Domain's appeal. Designed by the same team who develops the Yakuza titles, it was amazing to see how well they adapted to a new genre. Some of the on-rail sequences feel like classic Sega arcade shooters and are among the best parts of the game. Piloting vehicles, dynamic arenas, and turret guns make each and every section of Binary Domain exciting. It's got great level design mimicking that of a classic arcade game. Despite its lengthy campaign, Binary Domain never feels like a grind. Dan can upgrade his team's weapons throughout the campaign via credits earned for performance. Nano machines can also be picked up, augmenting characters with new perks and powers. Which characters you take with you on a mission is the player's choice. Seeing all the different dialogue options for new teams, as well as finding new nano machines, gives Binary Domain some nice replay value. The PC port of Binary Domain highlights some of the console version's blemishes. On all accounts, it looks good. Though some of the modeling and textures don't look quite as sharp when the resolution is up. The increased frame rate is great, making the fast action feel even quicker. The soundtrack is great, pumping out high tempo beats when the action is hot. Voice acting is strong, with the exception of Dan, who is a bit too gung-ho. The robots are the real star of the show here. The way they react to each and every shot is overwhelming. Metal cracks and sparks fly with such delicate attention, it's amazing to watch the carnage unfold on screen. The care and detail given to the environments is astounding, whether it be the collapsing ruins of old or fantastical places of New Japan. There is a competitive multiplayer option, though games are near impossible to find. Thus, treating Binary Domain as a single-player experience, it's hard not to sing accolades. It's a phenomenal piece of tech, a phenomenal shooter, and a pretty darn good cyberpunk story. Shingo, that's your robot, isn't it? Can't you do something? You think I'm picking up a little gun and trying to kill me? Are you alright? Do you need my... If my assistance is not needed, please be careful. It appears completely out of control.